Welcome back. This is our last instalment of the Kona series before the big dance on Saturday. In this video, we are just going to go over our new race bike, some of the kit and tech that we'll be using, and going over my race plan and how I think the race will go. So make sure you stay tuned all the way till the end. Saturday special. Saturday special. has gone pretty smoothly. We've managed to adjust to the time zones. Everything has gone pretty much to plan. Our suit has arrived, which is really exciting because there was a little bit of drama around that. I did the practice race swim last week and I felt really confident in the water. Was able to change some speeds and um, just see how the race dynamics might turn out. Although we do know on race day, it's going to be completely different with a deep water start and a lot more girls and a lot deeper field of girls around. But it was fun and then get to meet up with some of the other girls, uh, the other pros. Then, yeah, this week's just been about ticking a few sessions off, uh, registering, um, getting coffees, meeting up with some sponsors, doing a lot of media work, so with Ironman, uh, Precision Fuel and Hydration, uh, Parkours, and yeah. So I'm sure you've already seen it, but this is a little bit of detail about my new Trek Speed concept. It's a custom Project One paint job with the smoke effect. I am so happy with it. I didn't have a clue I was getting this bike and yeah it was a real surprise and to know that it was still blue is just music to my ears uh it is stunning it matches the scenery the only is exactly the same bike as the one in ross so we're continuing using what shop on our front end the only we have changed is we have now got 3d custom risers which was really sleek about this front end is there's no wires so in my front chain ring is a 5643 and the cassette at the back is a 1033. So my tyre choice for this weekend is the Schwabe Pro 1 TT tyre, tubeless. Woo! <laughs> 28 on the front. And the back. 28? Yeah. So fuel and hydration for the weekend. We are using precision fuel and hydration and we're going to have a litre in the front and back and we'll have two more litres in my personal needs bag at Harvey. Each bottle will have about 120 grams of carbohydrate in. I'll keep my salt capsules and caffeine gels in the Vento box here. And we're gonna add a little bit of extra water into the down tube, which is about 500 millimetres, uh, 500 mil. Um, as you can see, we've had a nice custom bottle through Billy which is just the bottle and the straw and it works excellently for not having to refill each time. So a massive thanks to Trek for this bike. I'm super excited to be riding it this weekend and for the rest of the season. So with the team at DHB, we created my new race suit, which I think is beautiful. We got the idea from the bike with the smoke effect and the colors. Uh, I wanted obviously blue and the more pastel-y colors to go throughout. And I think they've absolutely nailed it. I love the way it looks like the ocean and then into lava or fire, which I think really replicates the island in Kona. All my sponsors are on there. It fits really well. I've tested it. We've got nice, uh, the top of the range fabric in aerodynamic testing at the top, uh, which we've been using all year. So very happy with my new suit. 
Okay, so um, yeah, so how the race obviously is on Saturday, how do you feel? I think I was pretty nervous in the days before we travelled, but as soon as we got here, I the confidence each day has grown and grown. I think it will be a very difficult race and the level of competition and the girls that are here have stepped it up. So, yeah, I'm nervous, I'm excited, but I know I have the minerals and over all swim, bike and run to be at the front of the race all day and really make a difference in the outcome of this World Championships. I think I did that last year, but I'm definitely more physically and mentally prepared this year after racing last year and having this really consistent year this year. Swim, bike and run. Um, uh, I think there'll be a bigger pack of us, maybe just off Lucy, which could play a different dynamics to the race compared to last year. I'd like it to make that group as small as possible and catch Lucy or hopefully be with her as, as soon as possible. It would be ideal to have, or I think we could create 10 to 12 minutes off the bike from those fast runners and that would be put me in the best situation to have the podium finish, which I know I can do. Um, but my runs improve and I feel I can do, I can run a three hour marathon here or below. It just like racing, anything can happen. The level of competition's increased, but if I focus on me and what I need to do in terms of pacing, heart rate, power, f uh, eating or uh, fuel and hydration and getting those salts on board and obviously keeping cool in this heat, I will be up there all day making a difference and yeah, hopefully that end result will see me up there at the top. So when, uh, when people say, oh, Fernanda's like best in the world swimming, she's like really top, top of the sport on the bike, but people are going to run past her, what do you say in this race? <laughs> say screw them, <laughs> f*** them. They don't know like the amount of energy and passion and determination and mental resilience I have now this year to push through that and I've shown in previous races I've been so consistent on that run and I've only raced a world championships obviously in St George and Kona so why not this year and I think the whole of this race is more mental than anything else and a lot of people have lost it before they've even started um, and in my head I've visualised the best possible result and if I keep believing in that then it's 5%, 10% of the battle. When it gets hard in the race, um, obviously out here multiple times it's going to happen, um, what drives you to break through kind of those hard times during the race? It's knowing that I can, I will and that people think I can't to prove them wrong and to, and because I believe in myself and the people around me and the group, the support network that we have, all the support from you guys, my family, Bill, the hours of training that we've done and just ticked off. Um, and going back to that calm place in my head, uh, the push, push, push on the pedals, the fast feet on the run um, and knowing that however bad it may feel now it's not going to feel that way in however many minutes time it's often you go through these peaks and troughs and whatever happens at the end of the day the sun goes down and it comes up the next day and it won't ever change me as a individual so whatever the result I'm still Vanilla and me. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Next time you'll see me will be in my post Kona interview. So make sure you like, subscribe and hit that bell button to get notifications. Enjoy watching. Hope you see me right at the front all day.
Saturday.